These men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian. Bulgarian. He live on the Adriatic. Believed I owed him money when I did not. It made my life impossible. There was no avoiding him. Did you deal with him like you did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. And to see your cousin, of course. Of course. Dimitri, you got my money? I have it. Meet me at the warehouse on Maganet in downtown Broker. Come along. Sharp eyes, huh? You don't know my avid scene star. Hey, Nico. Glad you can make it. Yes. You got the money? Sure. But I just wanted to say how grateful me and my bosses are for what you did. Good. Yes. And I just wanted to check something with you. Okay. You are Nico Bellic, correct? What is this? And you used to work the coast in the Mediterranean, smuggling people into Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up. And left a lot of bad debt. You left a good friend of mine out of pocket. Big time. Hello, Nico. Hello, Mr. Bulgarin. Ross. Where is our money? I don't know. I didn't rob you. Really? We were busted a mile off the coast. I had to swim for my life. I don't know what happened. I nearly drowned. Huh. My heart was bleeding. I did my best. I didn't fuck up. Who be you are? On his blood cloud king. Fuck with a pure fuck with that team. It is fucked. Dimitri can do this to me because he has connections here. I only have Roman, Dimitri, and Bulgarian. This is not something I expected. I was Bulgarian. An old employer. He lost much money and blamed me for it rather than taking responsibility. He was reason I had to leave Europe. And then was here? Liberty City? It appears so. Roman. Roman, where are you? In here. I'm stuck. Let me out. Shit, man. <gasps> what are you doing in there? I got scared. People started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone. What happened? We've got a big problem. Dimitri was not a man of his word. So we're dead? More or less. Everything was fine before yes. you. Yes. Fine, and now this? Thank you. Thanks a lot! It's Vini. Nevidna. What's done is done. Yes. But there's a bigger problem. What? That guy I owed money to, Bulgarin. Yes. Guy in Europe who lives by the Adriatic. Yeah, yeah, he's here now. Uh, great. I'm sorry. I've ruined your life. 
No, don't be like that. We, we can find a way out of this. Bunch of idiot Russians. I will kill every one of them. No, that's exactly what you won't do. We don't have time for revenge. We can't afford it. What can we afford? Uh, we can lay low and start over. <sighs> Please. Uh, come on. Let's go back to the apartment. <sighs> this could be the start of that. A fresh beginning. All I know is we have to get as far from Dmitri and Bulgarin as we can. We will. But I have left something important at the apartment. Something I must show you, cousin. Oh, Holy man, fuck, it's dude. fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, cousin. This place is gone. Win more so I can spend on the hot cars and the sharp claws and my beautiful Mallory. Now I have nothing to spend. Nothing! Oh, yeah, I have you. Great. You have your life, Roman. You have a life which is worth a lot more than mine at the moment. Bulgarin and Dimitri shall not be happy that I survived our meeting. You know what? I think maybe they might get me when going after you. That seems like the pattern of events since you get here. Nico Bellic. We did not find your body with the others in the warehouse. Mr. Bulgarin and I were very disappointed. I was loyal to you, Dimitri. Why did you turn on me? You think I could survive in a cesspit of a city like this by aligning myself with a bottom feeder like you? You who has so many enemies! You robbed Bulgarin, you killed Mikhail, you know no more of loyalty than I do. You know why I killed Faustin? It was not my choice. I will find you, Nico. I have burnt you and your cousin out of Hove Beach. I will smoke you out of any other hiding place you have in this city. See you soon, Nico. Oh, 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 Tell me, where are the women? <laughs> well, they're, they're everywhere. It's, uh, that one over there is a TV starlet. That one there is a model. And that one uh, there, I don't know, but I believe she just signed on with the Derriere campaign. How much? The fuck I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not hookers. It's just not that kind of club. Everywhere is that kind of club. You just need to know how much to pay. Yeah, well, listen. Uh, can I buy you a gentleman a drink? Cindy! Cindy, come here. Take care of Mr. Bulger in here. Good to meet you. Please come back. Enjoy your night. My uh, right-hand man, Luis, will take care of you. Good night. Thank you. So, gentlemen, more drinks? Yes, please. Let's go. So, how's it going, gentlemen? The faggot is your boss. Sure. Last night for funny times at Bolestar. Hysterical, hysterical. Where does the call come from in this place? I don't know about that shit, man. I just make sure people don't get killed. How very boring. I prefer it when they do. Well, you should come back on a busier night then. Normally it's wall to wall corpses by midnight. You, I like. Faggot, not so much. Hey, uh, gentlemen, thank you. Uh, Luis, we gotta go. Good night. Gentlemen. Jesus, Russia, richer than the church. Buy this place, end all our troubles. Yeah, nothing like Russian gangsters to bring a sense of peace and stability to a problem. Hello. Who murdered your club? I'm Ray Bulgarin. Oh, yeah. You're the Russian who was asking about gold crookers and corpses. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't accommodate. I did not take you for the sensitive type. I'm spending some time here while I'll catch up with some old friends, and I need help with some things. I'm told you are the man to talk to. Listen, man. I got a real busy schedule. This is not an opportunity you want to miss out on, especially as I hear that gay Tony Prince's ship is sinking. Yeah, I don't know where you heard that. Just come to my house. We will talk. Yo, Mr. Bulgarin here. Hey. If he doesn't want to sell, I want to buy. How much oh. did you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million. 
And then we see if it is not for sale. If this painting is not hanging on my wall, your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? Not yet. I think there's always a prize in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Dukes. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway and fill place with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch. Take your pills. A friend of mine is here. Ha! You don't have any friends. You don't even have a business here. You are nothing in this My country. sister. She's still getting adjusted. We all are. So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray. You have ruined my life. Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Cashwilly won't sell me the rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave the strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. Aye, right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Fag man, no good. Go. Roll the bitch. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> Go to the garage of Topa Street. In my country, we have that taken care of. Take these sticky bombs, Lois. We will need them for our news friends. I ain't gonna take you up on the bomb offer, because I got my own. But I will take that advanced MG you got there. It's good to have you with us, Lois. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the under big Tony. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Tony and me are partners. I got a stake in the Enterprise. <laughs> a stake? Sure. You still take orders from him, don't you? You clean up his shit. Lois, it could be much more than that. Unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner or whatever you call it. Really, bro? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. Perhaps, for now, perhaps. But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have anything you want. I didn't get to where I am without being able to see the worth of man. That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me, and a good guy. Help me out. I'm not a fucking faggot! Whatever you say, bro. But what are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. Potential as what? As a businessman, I am looking for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course, but what is he? He is a drug addict, a madman. You are useful to him, but you think that is all he wants from you. <laughs> when some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. 
Can we talk about something else? What am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem like legitimate business to me, man. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City with actual pigs rooting through my affairs. For anything to happen, they must be eliminated. Okay, man. You really can't buy these people off? Sometimes a price is more effective if paid out of lead, not gold. This is the first lesson I will give you. Okay. I'm glad we have this opportunity to get to know each other, Louis. Oh, yeah? Yes. It is important that one knows those he employed intimately. Shit, bro. Just because I got a gay boss don't mean I'm going to get intimate with you. And if I was, it would not be on our first date either. Very funny. But I don't think you realize the magnitude of your insult, so I will let them slide. I'm not a man to be marked. I rewind a sec. What you mean, employ? I'm already in business with Tony. And where has that got you? Apart from up a few model skirt, I mean. The money I have can open those legs more readily than your bottle service can. I tell you where it's got me. It's got me off the street. Before I met Tony, I was a no-hoper. I'd probably be in for life by now. Tony's given me every opportunity I ever got. Until now? Maybe. There is a point where you will not be able to gain anything from him. Understand? Where you will outgrow him, and he will begin to hold you back. Perhaps this time has already came. I don't think so, bro. Not yet. Tony and I are partners. I'm gonna bring him with me wherever I go. How sweet you are. Pathetic. This is not possible, and I think you know it. What are your dreams, Louis? What do you want to be? I don't want to be no rock star like you guys seem to. That what you asking? No, it is not. I am informed that you used to have a reputation as a fighter. Yeah, I can handle myself. But you can only fight for so long until you run into the wrong guy. And then it ain't pretty. You don't want to go pro? With the money behind you, no one would dare to beat you. Pro fighting's a joke, bro. May as well be a wrestler if you want to join the circus. I used to wrestle. I was in academy as a boy. Timmer, man, check this out. You dissed my boss for being gay, and yours went to wrestling school? Give me a break, man. I do not understand the joke. It's not funny joke. What is problem with wrestling academy? Shit, look, man. I don't want to be no wrestler. This hospitality shit, it's my thing now. I know people, and people know me. I can get things done in this town. That is why you are the person I need with me. But you must be loyal to me, alone. That's a bit of a problem, bro. I ain't fresh off the boat. This is my town. I don't come alone. Tony's my business partner, bro. I ain't just leaving when a better offer comes along. You say this now. We will see if your mind is changed. Hey, man, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? Where are you? Look, man, I, I'm taking care of some personal business. I'll come see you later, okay? I'm cracking up here, Luis. Hurry the fuck up. How long are you gonna be? I don't know, man. I, I, I gotta go. Your master calls? Yeah, man. I see. And does he know that you are here with us? No. Interesting. I guess so. Let's go in. Leave the car in this empty space over by the pillar. Make sure a bomb is well hidden. We shall be concealed here. Well done. It will be a fun treat for them. These guys are all crooked, huh? Marty has this in his pockets. This news team is in charge of half the drugs running in the city. Do not let your conscience worry you. Timur, bro. You ain't talking much. You nervous? Fuck you. Be quiet. They are here. I see the target car. Let's set up this Russian and get out of here. Detonate when they come to the car, okay? 
Stay in formation! Now is the time, Lloyd! Excellent, excellent! Mark's Kutsakos burned! I still have smell of meat in nose. Bro, it's true! You are one who blew them up! That you did, Lewis! A serviceable job! Most competent! How'd I get myself into this shit, man? You didn't get yourself into this? I choose you! I pick you out because I see potential in you! You're lucky to be here! Yeah, great, thanks! But if you need more cops taken out, crooked or otherwise, you ain't choosing me. Look at this. The sensitive, modern American male. You need to go home and exfoliate your bolts. May as well cut them off. What the fuck is this? I don't like killing government agents, so I ain't got no balls? Give me a break. Okay, calm down. We got no more law enforcement to expunge. For now. Those were the only guys Maki had on us. You think he will sell? He has no choice but to sell. We have taken away his protection. It's that simple, is it? It should be. Maki is a weakling. He lives here in exile, like all cowards. But he has been here for a long time, so he has bought connections that others of us have not been able to acquire. This little trip should have severed the good deals of those connections and will give others involved a pause before they continue their association. Okay. Perhaps I will buy clubs of you as well. You sell them to me? Them clubs is levers to the max already, man. I don't know if there's anything left to sell. I don't care about other investors. They will forget about debts if I'm involved. Some of these investors aren't the type to go away. They aren't the type to pay off either. Anyway, it's not my place to sell them. I have a stake, but Tony's got the controlling share. Ha! Ha! Of course! Tony pulls the stream, and the little puppet man dance for him. Let me know when Tony X has hand up your ass, and when Trilloquist, Danny can talk. Fuck, man. What's wrong with you? 
You stake is bullshit. You think you run the club, but you are still just security. Your tone is gim, and you won't admit it. You're not like that. This what you want to do your whole life? No, but seriously, bro. I have opportunities for you. Think about them. I can't believe we just took out a whole new state. The city will be safer place without their corruption. At least you don't have to clean up the mess. They will be scraping them off the wall for weeks. Human graffiti. <laughs> Ashwili will see what happened to this man. It is a lesson to all those who have welcomed him here. Okay, man, you sent your message. Who is this guy? He is a traitor of his country, a war. He uses his position here to keep back all those who are still involved in the East. I am trying to buy him out of every position he holds. And if that don't work, we will do what we did in the garage. Boom, boom. Bye, bye. You mind me asking why a man of your means still gets his hands dirty like this? It is important to keep an eye on your people. But you trust Timor, right? I trust no one. Is that it then? You're just too paranoid to let someone else get nasty? Why would I pay someone to have all the fun? If this is what you call fun, then fair enough. You don't get a kick out of it? It does not get you dick hard? I'm gonna be honest. I kinda prefer a hot girl and a bottle of wine to a gunfight with the terror squad. Then maybe you're a fan. I thought you were a heterosexual one in a partnership. These gay jokes ain't gonna stop, are they? Maybe they will. Oh, yeah? It is easy. You come on board with us. You leave your fag master. He's an embarrassment. Tony has some tough times, but he ain't no embarrassment. He used to be the coolest guy in this city. Ran things. He's still relevant. Yes! Once upon a time, he's an ancient memory. Now he's a pill-popping joke. Hey, don't say that about Tony, man. I can't have you talking shit about him. This is what the world sees. This is what they think of when they see you. True, true. You have an opportunity here. I would like you to think about what you can become without this weight around your neck. Hey, I owe my life to Tony. I just want you to think about it. Do that for me. Yeah, maybe, man. Okay. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be there forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. Hey, buddy! Get this crap moving, will ya? Luis Lopez. Hey, Ray. What's up? Do you have thought about my offer? I told you where I stand. This is not like things in your American supermarket. It has sell by date. There are others in this city who would kill for this opportunity. Shit, man. I already killed for it. I'm thinking, all right? Then think harder. Goodbye. Welcome! Welcome to the party! <gasps> Sit down. Sit down. Sure. Can I get you anything? A drink? Oh, something stronger, huh? I'm cool, bro. You know how to play the drums? We need a fucking drummer. I ain't your man, bro. Sorry. You Spanish have the rhythm. Give us a fucking beat, man. You don't drum, but you dance, don't you, Luis? You dance. I can dance, man, but not with you and him. That's a shame. You dance, Mr. B? Money doesn't dance the money. Doesn't dance, my friend. Okay, but you need some work done. Uh, wait, wait. Listen. Ooh. Ah, this is it. This is it. Ooh. Hey, can you ask the ape to stop playing for a second? You want I should stick $50,000 guitar up your ass? No, but I got some friends I can introduce you to if that's how you get your kicks. Oh, funny guy. All right. All right, okay. You have heard about Liberty City. Rampage. 
The owner still will not accept my offers. I have been more than reasonable. You mean after you killed this special team of cops? It's weird. You want me to negotiate with him? No. The time for negotiations over. Do what needs to be done in his boardroom. Send a message. Hey, I ain't a hitman, bro. I mean, I'll fight anyone, do whatever. But I ain't a contract killer. The officers are in the me TV buildings. Yet yeah, it will not be easy. You'll have to find someone else, man. I mean, it's not my thing. I ain't qualified for that shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't discussing your career development. I was telling you what to do. Now, fuck off and go. Поехали. Wait for me. We go to Eleport in Fish Market South. Hey, I'm sorry to break up your party, man. You look like you were having fun. Mr. Ray wanted me to keep watch on you. Make sure you do at all. Hey, I don't need no watcher. Mr. Ray think you do. Shit. You think I want to be here? Whatever. Okay. So? So fucking what? So, what's up, bro? Fuck off. Chill, man. I'm just trying to converse with you. My job is hospitality Your and... job is kill Marky Ashley for Ray Bulgarin. Dimmer, bro. I like to think I can talk to people. I try to put them at ease. Make them open up. Sure. They open up when you shoot in their head. You put people in the ground, my friend. You killer like me. That's what Bulgarin wants you to do. So that's what you do. Hospitality is for weaklings. Here, I have headset for you. This is so we communicate when you're in building. Great, thanks. You like to parachute? It's an occupational hazard. What's that mean? It means I don't like doing anything that could easily kill me. But sometimes you got to. This is why you tell Mr. Ray you are not contract killer. You scared? I'm not scared, bro. I just don't like it, that's all. Mr. Ray will be pleased, Ashley no more around. Yeah, great. Tell him I'm not his fucking hitman, okay? That's not why I'm hanging with him. I am sorry, Mr. Hospitality Man. You do what Mr. Ray says. That's it. I see you soon. Stick your guitar up your fucking ass. those men? What happened? That seemed like a lot of protection to be giving a man who ran up some gambling debts. You're right. At first it was just a debt, and then they found out my name. They connected me to you and what happened in Hove Beach. Dmitry Raskolov was on his way to that warehouse. They wanted me to give you up. I would never... I know you wouldn't, Roman. I thought we were done with Dmitry when we got out of Hove Beach. But he and Bulgren know how to hold a grudge. You know how to hold a grudge as well, Nico. Don't forget about that. I could never forget that, Roman. You love to disappoint me, Nico Pelik. You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitry Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies. And yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Uh, ah, Mr. Lewis. Hey, where's the one-man Ben? He's working. Oh, okay. Of company! Shut up! Don't tell me to shut up! So, I've heard from some people, I know, that maybe you have some diamonds for sale. Not me, my boss, Tony. <laughs> my other boss. 
Yeah, yeah. You got them from the fat cook. Ray! Huh? Ray! What are you still doing here anyway? I'll stay as long as I like. You think you're a big man? Where's your house on Middle Park East? Where's your big sports team, huh? Shut up, you can't! <laughs> Shut up, you fucking cunt! Hey, man, is she okay? A big gun next to a big man, huh? Your thingy was tiny even before the wrestling coach make you take steroids. Mother always said she only had daughters. Ignore her, Luis. The diamonds, tell me. I, I gotta talk to Tony. You gotta talk to Daddy. I thought I was making you a real man, not a rand boy. Well, I can't sell what ain't mine, bro. And plus, with all the work I put in for you, I don't really feel like a man yet. Okay. Son, man, son. I want you to come to Moose back. He's going to talk to some people. I need you there. Okay, man, I got it. But you should chill out, bro. Let me decide when to chill out. Go! Yeah, what's up? I'm here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. You're in position. Do you see box in front of you? Yeah. Open it. Have you opened it yet? No, give me a sec. No. Okay, I'm here. Do you recognize this man? Shit! <laughs> I believe you parted with him in a diamond deal. Yo, what the fuck? Is this the guy we bought the ice from? You colluded with him to steal from me. Yo, we just got some rocks off him, okay? Look, listen. No, you listen. I offered you an opportunity, yet you were plotting against me. Yo, I know shit about those rocks. But I believe it doesn't matter. I will do everything in my considerable power to drive you and your faggot master from this earth. Goodbye. Oh, shit! Fucking great! Listen, Tony, I got something to talk to you about. You remember that Ray Bulgarian guy? That Russian gangster? You think he'd lend us the money we need to get out of this shit? He's bad news. I hate to be the voice of reason here, but I don't think we need that kind of stress in our lives. Oh, yeah, man. We already got it. I talked to him about some opportunities, and it turns out the diamonds we bought were stolen off him in the first place. He cut that cook's head off, man. Long story short, he wants us dead. Poor old chef. What were you doing talking to these guys without me, Lou? I'm sorry, man. I fucked up. Kind of refreshing, though, for me to be the one getting us in shit for once. Don't you think? Yeah, a real relief. I know what you mean. Listen, man, I told you. I didn't know shit about who owned them diamonds. Then maybe you should have asked. Instead, you ran around this city making a fool of me. You and your faggot boss will be killed for this. I will do everything in my power shit. to- I think the scene was dropping, man. Later, bro. Luis! Ray, listen. You fucked with me, Luis! No, no, not at all. That's how things seem. But trust me, that wasn't my intention. You fucked with me! And now, I'm going to fuck with you! You little cunt! You are dead! 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 You understand? No. Could you say it again, please? Fuck you! I'm still not getting it. What about a third time? Bye. Yusuf. Hey, man. What's up, Luis? Things is good? No, man. They're a long way from good. Well, how much you need? How much money you want me to throw at this problem for you? Yusuf don't like his main dude unhappy. Cash ain't gonna fix this problem, okay? We got a crazy Russian after us, and we ain't some deep shit with some Cosa Nostra morons. The Mafia? I've had problems with some union fucks on the site. Sometimes that shit just goes away. Hey, this ain't going, man. And there's nothing you can do. Me and Tony gotta find some way to dig ourselves out. Don't be too proud, Luis. You ever need something, you call Yusuf, okay? See you around, bro. The exchange is on Charge Island. They're calm by land. We're on the water. Tony, man. This 
diamonds. What about them? Yo, man. Mabel got him claiming ownership, and he's got some serious resources. Maybe we should think about handing them over to him. We got two options, Lou. Either we give them to the Russian, and Ancelotti kills us, or we give them over to the kidnappers. Gracie lives, and we take our chances with the Russian. All right, man. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. I got nothing figured out. Half the city wants to kill me, but they'll be lucky if they can get a chance before I die of a heart attack. Easy, though. We ain't gonna have much in the bank after we hand over these diamonds. The rocks have got us in enough shit. Let's forget about the bottom line for a second. Okay, bro. I mean, you're the one who just got ambushed by some crazy Russians because of them. This is true. Maybe we should be worrying about what Ray Burgani has to say about handing over the ice. I don't care what he has to say. We pay for it fair. His beef's with the chef. What's left of him? Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, oh, yeah. we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it? That one ever something is stolen from me? You are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Kanjai! you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Follow me. Nico, there's some guys up there. Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yebeno isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. You bastard. Serves you right, you selfish cock sucking piece of shit. Jesus Christ, why did that moron have to throw the ice away? It was just plain selfish. There's always one who ruins it for everybody else in the class. You're telling me. We would have let him live. He could have walked away from there. Instead, he's fucked, and the diamonds are who knows where. A lot of people are going to be upset about that. My brother Gerald's going to be one of them people. There ain't much that could cheer him up now that he thinks he's doing serious time. But this is really going to piss him off. It's going to be a nice thing to mull over. You know, while he's staring at them metal bars for the next decade or so. A guy like Jerry can still do stuff in the joint. 
He organized this kidnapping shit, didn't he? Can't be the only card he's got to play. Fuck, he wasn't too chipper the last time I spoke to him, and he's gonna be a long way from chipper when I tell him what went down. If I can get what went on straight in my head in the first place, that is. Okay, so we exchanged Gracie for some diamonds that Ray used to have. Then some Russian turns up saying they're his, then everything goes to shit. That's about right, isn't it? There's nothing right about this situation. But that would be an accurate description of what went down. The Russian is called Ray Bulgarin. I worked for him on the Adriatic. He thought I stole from him and they came after me. I had to leave Europe because of him. And they were his diamonds? I don't know about that. They're nobody's now. The only thing that makes me smile about this shit is that Bulgarin does not have the ice. Piece of shit does not even stay at the fight to see the outcome. Just leaves his boys to clear up. We was outnumbered, Nico. I can see how he thought it was covered. This is not the first time he has assumed that I would be killed by some of his employees. Hopefully one day I'll be able to teach him his lesson by putting a bullet to the back of his head. You're not meant to say what you wish for out loud. It won't come true if you do. That rule even works for wishes as cheerful as yours. Luis Lopez. What could you possibly have to say that I'd want to hear, Rock? Time to face the facts, Jack. Frankly, you're fucked. There's a rich Russian having a powwow with the old man about you and the fag. FYI, they ain't talking about handing you a special commendation. Well, what the fuck are me and Tho supposed to do about that? Let's leave the homo out of this for a minute. Meet me and Uncle Vincenzo in the public toilets in Middle Park. We gotta talk in person. That's what I told him. That shit would never have happened back in the day. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Still living the high life, I see. Fuck you. <laughs> what you doing here, cruising? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you know, Mr. Ancelotti still blaming all that diamond shit for Gracie's kidnap? Well, you did bring the heat down on the club, so I can understand why they blame you. Yeah, and those chinks, they're still fucking pissed at that dispute of ours. Again, fair enough. Whatever, it don't matter, all right? What matters is the Russian has come to Mr. Ancelotti and said he wants the head of anyone involved with the diamonds. Now, on top of all that Gracie and Chink shit, the old man is pissed. He <laughs> wants blood. I think we can cut a deal. We give him one body, all right? So basically, it's you or Tony. One of you has to die. Me and Vince would prefer to work with you and the clubs over the faggot, so you're lucky. You kill Tony. You get to keep the clubs. You and us together, partners. Either that, or the Russian is gonna send some serious people round to whack you and the fag with Ancelotti's sanction. Yeah, you both get whacked. You're way out of your league, kid. And you, you're a fucking loser hanging out with children living a fantasy life. I ain't killing Tony, but I may be about to kill you two fucks, though. Then you're a dead man. You and your family and those spick drug dealers you hang out with, you're all dead. It's your choice. It ain't our fault. Fuck you. Think about it. I'll be in touch. You fucking spick. Oh! There he is. Thank God you got here, Luis. These, these fucking guys. I talk to them. Tell them we can figure it out. It ain't that simple, Tom. Sure it is. We got money coming. We can expand. Refurb, rebrand, I'm an earner, I'm a survivor, I've been in this game since 1987. Ouch, the terrible irony. You better tell him. Tony, man. What? Things are kind of fucked, man. These guys, man, these fucking guys, you never should have brought them in, man. Now somebody's got it, you know. The mix is with us now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Times change, Tony. Your brand of charming homosexuality, it's kind of run out of steam. Someone has to pay for what's gone down. Do it. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. After all we've been through, Lou! I'm sorry, T. You... You was family, man. But it's either you or all of us. The Russians are coming, man! We don't got time for this gay shit! Fucking pop them already! You fucking moron! Hey, I had second thoughts, man. 
You fucking killed yourself just then. The Russians, fucking everyone, they're coming after you. The old man, you're fucking dead. The both of you, they're coming any second and they're expecting corpses. We better not disappoint then. Ah, keep your head, Lou. He's a made guy. Fuck him. All right, get out of here, Rocco. This is for the old man and that's it. You're a dead man, Taco. Get out of my club, you fucking mook. You sure that was smart? You sure not shooting me was smart? I don't think so. All right, all right. if we're gonna operate, we're gonna need some, some goodwill here. What now? I don't know. Didn't he say the Russians are coming? Doesn't stop, does it? Outside. Then we're gonna have to go meet him, boss. It's gotta end sometime. Tried to kill me, Lou! You wanted to fucking kill me! Tony, man, what the fuck? We got through it. We beat them. Who'd we beat? A couple of goons? The guys who wanted us dead are still out there! I'm done! I'm packing up, and I'm leaving town. I'm heading to a spa town in the desert. It's been nice knowing you. Don't be stupid, T. T, please, don't be stupid. I'll just come find you. Shit. Hey. Uh, fuck off, Luis. Ay, Dios mío, have we been through this already? Been through the fact that you wanted to kill me? Been through the fact that you're far from alone that desire? This is over. It's over. I just want to go someplace far away from here and quietly wait to die. I lived it. I lived it hard, and now I'm ready to end it. Oh, shut up, you hysterical fucking queen. Get a grip, bro. Oh, yes. Silly me. <laughs> Silly fucking me. <laughs> the Russian mob want me dead. My best friend just contemplated murdering me. The mob are on my case. I'm massively in debt. And, and I just lost two million dollars worth of diamonds. Any other man would just dust himself off and carry on. Look, uh, OK, I'm sorry I thought about killing you. I really am. But if you keep up with the bullshit, I might have to kill you for real. Fuck off, Luis! No, you fuck off, Tony. I didn't kill you. I wanted to. Why? Because you've become a useless junkie fuck. That's why. But I did it. And now, it's you and me against the world, OK? And if your brains ain't working right, then I'll make the decision for us, OK? It's Bulgari or us. Or you can shoot us both and make his life easy for him. Well, you're kind of clever, aren't you? I only hired you because I thought you were dumb. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Are you coming now? Yes, I'm coming now. Well, let's go, come on. I heard Bulgarian was moving some smack out at the Funland on Firefly Island. So, say we find him, what are we gonna do then? We're gonna take out their income stream, and then we're gonna take them out. End this bullshit. This is our last chance, ain't it, Lou? We've gotta take down Bulgarian and all his people. It's our one shot to survive. For me, maybe. What do you mean? If we go down, we go down together. Tony, man, I'm gonna take you into a fiesta full of angry Russian gangsters. It's not like I haven't been in my share of firefights, Lou. By now, I'm a seasoned veteran by anyone's fucking Shit. standards. I know that, bro. But there's no point in you coming in there. You can go off and die alone on some beach somewhere, or the desert, like you was just saying to me, man. Leave down, bro. Okay, then you come too. Fuck Ray Bulgarian. Fuck the mob. Fuck the loan sharks. Fuck the angry triads. The moaning celebrities. Fuck everybody, Lou. We'll leave town and start all over. New clubs. Someplace else. If I can do it, you can too. Oh yeah, it ain't like that for me, Tom. 
I still got my family here in LC. Maybe you turn your back on where you was from when you was a kid, but that ain't something I can really do. The Heights, it's my home, man. Always will be. Nothing's worth shit if I can't go back there. You're serious about this, aren't you? You're gonna walk in there alone. Yeah, I'm serious. You gotta hide out for a bit, T. I'll come find you if all our troubles go away. But if I don't show, you gotta run. Okay, shit. I'll do that. Where should I hide? Go somewhere no one's gonna find you. Maybe back to Dukes. Ain't nobody gonna look for you there. Dukes? All right. I'll wait for you in the middle park by that silly monoglobe. You're gonna make it, Al. I know it. We'll see. Later, T. Shit, Lou. Look after yourself. Now Raskolov is dead. We have sole claim to the junk. Del Rey, there's an angry Dominican here to see you. Can't talk, bro. Shit's really coming apart. What do you mean? Let me head you out. There ain't nothing you can do, Yusuf. If this crazy Russian fuck manages to leave the country, it's over for me and Tom. I gotta get down the Deuce Expressway without any number of Russian assassins taking me down. Or we're done. Why am I even saying this? Wish me luck, bro. Come oh. 
looking for you. Hell, are you trying to leave when I say goodbye? No, I would have come back to finish things with you. Are you glad oh, to be back God. with your Roma master? Hey, I don't know what the hell I was thinking hanging with you, asshole. Your fucking joke, man. All the money in the world and you can't get shit done. I will get you done, you bitch. I have grenade. You kill me, we all die. Don't make me shoot you. You can't shoot me. You'll blow a whole plane up. I'll take my chances. How's your cousin Roman after the incident the other day? Once he learns to control his bowels again, he will be good. Mikhail fucked up his guts pretty bad. At least he's alive, huh? Mikhail will always go for the gut shots. I guess Roman's real lucky then. I wonder what big favor Faustin's gonna do for him next. You got to remember, you killed Vlad. That angered Mikhail no matter what he said. It was very difficult for me to persuade him that a man like you could be more useful to us alive than dead. Are you trying to tell me I owe you my life? No, I'm not. I was trying to tell you that I'm a man who appreciates a good business venture when one comes along. Weasel News. Liberty City experienced one of its most violent days in recent memory after a series of shootouts raged across the city. Gunfire was first reported at the Funland Carnival in Hove Beach. Then a major incident followed at Francis International Airport before a private jet belonging to Ray Bulgarin, a Russian businessman, crashed, killing all on board. This is Ray Bulgarin, Liberty City phone. I call you back. Kinda changes the mood, don't it? The car's been rigged to blow. Scout the area, look for hostiles. <laughs> Get hot in here. Yeah, no doubt. Now, Luis, we see if you.